Whoa! Are you okay, Terry? How about Mochi? Good. So am I. We still seem to be moving, at least. Looks like the current is carrying us. Hmm. I can see an island. Let's see what data I can come up with. Yes, it's an island, all right. Rizo Island. Roughly 200 kilometers away from Akumojo Castle. The cause of the storm has been identified. Now presenting data for your review. One moment. Please turn the disc over to continue analysis. It's like an old PC game. What? We were just getting to the good part. That should do it. I'm pressing enter. Let's see here. What? Terry, it's Nadia. What's she doing here? Maybe there. No. What about... This certainly doesn't make things any easier. They must be trying to sabotage our mission. Those cosmonauts don't know when to give up. They created the storm with their keyboard. What? Oh, was Nadia the keyboardist in their band? Apparently, it's called the Thor Master 5000. Mint was trying to keep us out of the castle. Her music was actually creating those clouds. That storm won't go away until the song does. Time to step up to the plate, Terry. Huh? Why so glum? Nadia's not your type, huh? She's got that evil librarian thing going. Don't sweat it. She's no match for you. I wasn't done talking, you know. Go on, Terry. It's all yours. Yeah, I guess Terry's getting tired of your lectures, Professor. So we're taking on Nadia, eh? She is an evil librarian type. Is that the music she's playing, or is that just background music? I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure. We How we get up there? Um, can we get up there? Oh, I guess we can. Let's just go see what she has in her house. Alright, so this is her house. I guess this door here must lead to the bathroom. You got a kitchen. Can we cook? He can't cook if he's... Yeah, we could just cook in her kitchen. Good. Is it crystal ball? This thing? Bed? These pajamas probably belong to Nadia. Harry caressed them. So silky and gentle. So soft and warm. Harry! I think we can say that whatever other things you are, you're also a pervert. What? Try again, Terry. There we go! Oh, for a second I thought it was just pitch black. Okay. We have turtles? Oh! Aggressive turtles! Terry! Rob the turtles! Nice going, Terry. Oh, they cast up shields around them like the, uh, the pill bugs did. Oh, I get it! The pill bugs, like, roll up into a ball, and that's their shield. And that, and the turtles go into their shell, and that's their shield. It all makes sense now. And that's why the pill bugs could roll up like tires, because, because they could roll up into a ball. Is, is this just obvious, and I'm just ridiculous for not noticing it? I don't know. Do these enemies raise our courage? I'd say absolutely not. What the? Oh, it got out of its shell for some reason. Um, okay? I guess when they get out, I guess they're not turtles then, because that'd be akin to ripping your spine out, and of course you can't do that. I, I guess that the, that the turtles... I mean, they look kind of like, what are those things called? Those, like... Those dolls, you know? I forget what they're called. Oh, hi, Nadia. I'm just trying to do my job. 
Hey, get out of here, you! Really? That's all you have to s Really? That's it? Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll wait, wait till she checks on that machine. Terry. Uh, there's the sheet music. Storm Sonata. T take it! Terry, take the sheet! T Terry! What are you- Terry! Are you kidding me? T kid, kid, you're a thief! You're a thief, Terry! Take the Storm Sonata! What? We can't even attack- why, why can't you- I mean, you can attack just some random civilian, but you, you can't attack the- You can't- Fine. Okay, fine. Fine. Fine, be that way. See if I care. See, see, see what I care. These increase our fame or something? I don't think so. You're kind of bad killing turtles. I like turtles. They're so cute, you know? It's just really weird that they get out of their shell like that. Alright, Terry. You take on this turtle here. Naughty is security turtle. I have a feeling we might be able to rob something off of them when they don't have their shells or something. So I'm gonna leave that guy be, alright? Alright. Until Terry gets the, you know, green bar back so that he can do some snatching. Come on, Terry. Terry, come on. Terry. There we go. Oh, we even got an egg. Okay. So. Where is he? Where? Did they just disappear? Well, that's stupid. I'm not happy about that. Well. So apparently we had to get the thief costume in order to pick that door, that lock, which we'll never figure out without any you know, guidance, but... Well. Um. Okay. Okay. We go behind her house? There's something hidden there? No? No. To be honest. To be honest about this, alright? I look I, I look this up. I see what, I, what you have to do. Okay? You have to do something that's totally rational and anyone would always have thought about, would always think of, would always have thought to do. Okay? You gotta go to Habara, and you remember that guy who wanted to sell us a song for 10,000 coins? We have to go get that song! What I'm counting on is that Terry can just steal it from him, even if we lose a little bit of morality doing so. I am really hoping that this is... I'm, I'm really counting on this, okay? Really am counting on this. Do you like living in Madeira? I tell you, Terry. You, this is just a, this is just ridiculous. You gotta go buy like anime theme music, sheet music that you could probably find online for free. You gotta go buy it for an outrageous amount of money, even though you're a kid of the internet generation, Terry. Oh well. Oh well. This is what we sold the elder that uh. This is what we sold copper that sushi for. Is for this, isn't it? And here I thought they just wanted us to have a, you know, big windfall, but no. Alright, fine. Fine. See what I care. Soon we'll be at Habora. We're here. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Well, depending on your, uh, you know, perspective, Professor, a lot of risks that Terry takes are unnecessary. In any case, we still, even if we, even if we do, you know, lose 10,000 gold here, we're still gonna have plenty. We're still gonna have plenty of gold. We're still gonna have 16,000 gold, in fact. So, I, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Let's go. Talk about a waste of good tickets. I didn't even get my mosh on. <sighs> lame. Whatever, nerd. Oh, I'm a nerd too. I, I'm. This is. I'm just. This is just 
playful, you know, Jocelyn. Hey, stylish. Wait, I remember you. Did you ever find that chick you were looking for? Kind of? I mean, I know where she is. Welcome. I don't need any of this. Actually, can I sell some of these things? These are 600. Yeah, I have two of these. I only need one of them. I will sell one of them. I'll get some money. Do we have any other extras? We got this. This is 222 for the T-ball back. Really? 22 offense? It... The T-ball bat? Really? Sure. I, I'm not selling that then. I mean, how much? Like, what's the what's the offense of this? It's 26. It's not that much lower, honestly. Oh, um. Anything else you want to buy? No. Nothing. Not even some some, some bags. Want to buy a bag? Thanks. Welcome for that empty bag that you bought for the same price as gold. Hey. Didn't even make it into the pit at that concert. Talk about wasting a ticket. I'm glad I didn't bid on that Moo Crystal. Um, alright. See, where's the guy with- oh, here he is. You know that famous show with the catchy theme song? Which- yeah, I would like this- uh, No. Here. Well, okay, so- so here's what I'm gonna do. I can't rob him, I can only attack him. Well, fine. Fine. Do you have anything new to say? No, you don't. You're still looking for snakes on a boat. Whatever, you pretentious. What about you? You're still looking for the same thing. Oh, yes, yeah, the same thing. Okay. He has the same, same thing to say. All right. I might... N I'll also note that in my, uh, trips around here, I noticed another item up here that I apparently missed the first time round. On the ominously silent floor. It's a newspaper clipping. Special Cosmonauts Part 4. Wait, did we get Part 3? I mean, I guess so. Did he read it? Of course we should. Why did Mint take over? The answer lies in her home life. Her last name, Cloudy, brings to mind the Interplanetary Cloudy Crime Syndicate. Is she the heir to that family fortune? Lester's connections allow for some reasonable speculation, but in the end, speculation is all that it is. Data on the cosmonauts is hardly forthcoming. Lester gave Mint his starring role and stepped down into support capacity. Continued in The Professor. Huh. So Lester used to be the head of the cosmonauts, apparently, until he decided to hmm. give his role over to Mint. Maybe he's in love with Mint, and, I mean, he's a horrible person, but that doesn't mean that he's just, like, inhumanly evil. Well, I guess I'm not gonna spend 10,000, you know, coins anyway. I'll buy it from you, you jerk. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, this is such a ridiculous puzzle. I would never have thought of this solution. Excellent taste, sir. This is quite a rare find. Received Blue Sky March. Blue Sky is blue, 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 blue. It's not such a bad song. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it! It's Blue Sky March because it's going to not make the skies be gloomy and stormy, isn't that- is that right? That's right. So Nadia only works for the cosmonauts because it's her job? She's not a devoted terrorist, it's just- just her job. Sure. Why not? Who are you? Why is it that you look like the enemies? Yeah, I'm not- I'm not getting any of these things from you. Wait, what's this? Ah, uh, no, no. I don't know what you mean by palm gloves, but I don't need them. Oh, by the way, I- by the way, I got some video games. Hey, how have you been? Say, isn't that plumbing siblings you have there? You're really giving it to me. Yeah. Really? Oh, I love you. Well, she- she does love a bad boy, and- 
Terry's not a bad boy, so we're never gonna go out with her anyway, but... I, I did get some video games. Got Jumping Man. Climb the Girders! Save the Girl! So that one's Donkey Kong. We got Dragon and Dragon, we saw that one already. We got Plum Siblings. Jump! Hit! Keep the block until needed! Which is, of course, you know, Mario Brothers. What's this one? Terry the Kid? Yeah, Terry must fight. I'll stay careful. I don't know what game that's a reference to, unless it's this one, but this isn't a retro game. Not a retro game. Alright, Terry. We just did what we had to do. Touch your pajamas again for good luck. Why do Japanese games always have that kind of joke in them? You know, not, I'm not complaining, I'm apparently enough of a pervert to find it really funny, but whatever. It's not funny per se, but it's sort of charming in, a, in its odd, off-kilter way. Bring it on, Turtleman. We got money off of that Turtleman. These are some loaded turtles. Now, Terry! Terry! Actually, do these increase our... any stat? No, they don't. Terry! Come on! There you go, Terry. Don't even worry about the turtles. These are such non-threatening enemies. I'm not even gonna beat them up anymore. It's just mean. All right, master of stealth. Nadia doesn't see us at all. Her glasses aren't good enough. He replaced Storm Sonata with Blue Sky March. What are you doing? Don't touch that. The storm around Akumojo Castle is clearing up. Blue, blue skies. Time to pay them a visit. Hurry back. Get back to the ship, Terry. Oops. When did that happen? I'm sorry. Yes, I understand. I'll leave right away. Well, it probably plays music. Yeah! Probably. Anyway, so, this is the theme music to this, uh, Popular anime, is it? Actually, I guess it might just be a drama, not an anime. Pretty sure, like, soap operas are pretty big in Japan. Oh, she left her silky smooth pajamas here. Terry, if you're gonna be a pervert, you should go all the way and just take them. But no, he's not gonna do that. He's not a negligee-stealing kind of guy, even though he's literally a thief. Just like he's not a freaking sheet music that we have to remove kind of guy. And I would think it would be just as effective to just, just take away the sheet music. Oh, okay, oh actually, then again. She probably does have other copies of it, you know? Probably. What? Uh, Professor, we're stuck again. We can go to Akumojo Castle now. Thank you for letting me know, Professor. What do you think Terry is, a kid? Oh, wait, Terry is a kid. And he is talking to Terry. This is for Terry's benefit, not mine. <laughs> Uh, there's only one island I never went to, and that's Wi-Fi Island, but I don't think I can get on that anymore. And anyway, I need somebody else who has this game to do it, so... Akumojo Castle, here we come. We're coming close to the end now. This time, for sure we're saving. For sure. Hmm. Terry doesn't know about you. You know, Terry... I suppose you're probably never gonna know about me, are you, Terry? But I've been trying to do my best with you this whole time. And I don't know how well I've done, but I really have done my best, you know? Really have done my best. And Terry, tomorrow we're gonna take on the Cosmonauts. 
And I honestly still really don't know nothing, you know, I pretty much don't know anything about them still. And frankly, I don't think anyone does, because even this journalist, Beale, his conclusion, I think, is basically going to be, ultimately, we can know nothing about the cosmonauts. All we know is the professor apparently has something to do with them. I wonder what he does. Well, I mean, we really haven't seen him be a professor. Very mysterious, all this. Very ambiguous, all this. Soon we'll be at Akumojo Castle. We've just about reached Akumojo Castle. It's 59 degrees Fahrenheit out there with 10% humidity. Chilly. Sounds like nice weather to me. Say, Terry, be careful out there. Remember, I still have to get you back home. Then we can say our farewells. Oh, we're here. All right then, let's do this. You know, Professor, I'm still missing one decal. What does this one do again? Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. The gambling one. Eh, Professor, you're just all about gambling, aren't you? This seems like a more thiefly kind of weapon. Oh, this is a lot mellower than I expected the castle to be. Is that a dodo? Oh. What the? It is a dodo! It's a really effective dodo! These are very tough dodos. I didn't realize dodos were so ferociously territorial. If I had, you know, I mean, I now I understand why they hunted them to extinction, because they, they killed, they tried to attack anybody who got anywhere near them. I mean, this this really changes my perspective on them, just altogether. It's an all, it's, it's, it's a game changer, a life changer. Wait, did we just get chicken off of them? Okay, never mind, those weren't dodos, they were chickens. My bad. You, you can understand my confusion, though, can't you? I mean, maybe you can, I don't know. Probably weren't worth it to even eat. Just just drink your potion, kid. Good for what ails you. Those dodos make us more courageous? No. I don't think so. Kid, these dodos are very fierce. Just run away. Just run away from the- Oh god, even more! I know I was talking about how mellow this place was, but... I realized that I was wrong. We're an evasive thief. Wait a minute. The cosmonauts actually keep freaking animated skeletons as a security? Sure, I can accept that. Yeah, they're not even any stronger. Those dodos, there's just wild dodos outside your castle are much stronger than your guards. I don't know what that says about you. Probably says something, though. And yeah, they don't make us any more courageous, so I'm not going to deal with them. Oh, a chair. Let's sit down. It's probably not a trap, right? No, oh, we can't sit down. Okay, that one, this this one's wielding an impressive weapon. Does it increase our courage? I don't know. Right now, the top of the courage bar is between the uh, two numbers of our rank. Between the two and the six. So, I guess we'll just have to see if it stays there after we've defeated this enemy, and then we'll find out whether or not this Stalfos will raise our amount of courage. No, absolutely it doesn't at all. What did I expect? Not much else, honestly. Any secret passages? This creepy castle just seems- this haunted castle just seems like the kind of place that would happen. And I really am surprised that the Cosmonauts headquarters isn't some kind of science fiction-y base, or some pop idly base. But is in fact, actually, a haunted castle. Of all the themes for their lair to have, I would never have guessed this one. So, you know, say what you want, but pretty unexpected. 
not predictable. Like I said before, this game has its problems, sure, but one thing it ain't is predictable. What? Try again. You, you can do it, Terry. You caught the king. You can pick this lock, Terry. What? What do we acquire? What, what, what was that we acquired? Always act... Okay, well, we can always pick level 1 locks. Alright. We're gonna be doing a... Oh, we can cook borscht! That's a classic Russian dish. What do we need to cook borscht? We need beets, but we don't have any beets. I haven't seen any beets in the whole game. No, just tomatoes and potatoes. No, it's not based on toma tomatoes. It's it's based on beets. Oh well, I'll, good to good to, to know that we can make it now. Terry, you did you you did a very bad job stealing from it, Terry. Try again. Oh, that's a lot of money you stole from it, Terry. You done good, kiddo. But now we have to actually beat it. So. Ah, oh, man, typical. Get out of way, get out! Okay, the, the, the attack chases us, so it's basically undodgeable, and it once again makes me wonder why you can even walk around in the midst of battle. Nothing in there. Unless there's a hidden wall, or a hidden passage, I mean. Which is very possible in this, in this setting. No! No, there's not. Bye. Go over here? Yeah, we can. We picked the lock, and what do we get? Just a decal? Fine. I might as well go equip one of our decals. We have quite a few of them. Let's see what this one is. I don't know if the latest ones get put on top or what, but... Just a battle decal, huh? Oh, what's this one gonna give us? Uh, no. No, that's a much better decal than this one. What about this? What, what, is this, what does this one give us? Um... Nah, we, we don't need it. What about this one? Oh, it says another battle one, so that's pretty helpful. Oh, that's, that's pretty useful, a weapon decal. Yeah, replace it. This one, it does this one better. Or two better, actually. Maybe this one will do a six better. Keep up the pattern. Nah. We don't need that. Actually, what, what does this job decal give us? Yeah, we, we don't need one that's exactly the same. Anyway. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and equip the Viking Sword, because in this case, I really do think it's probably best to have the highest defense we can. And it's a good thing Terry that went out of his way to get these uh, thief clothes, is all I can say. This is both a thief level and a haunted castle level. It's like, um, uh, you know, Osh Osoe Castle from Other 3. What the heck? Is that like an old mage? It is an old mage! I am... did not expect to encounter typical RPG enemies in here. And the reason they're so tough is that you basically can't, like, fight them while you're, um, uh, under the influence of their magic. Professor, you said that wouldn't take long. You were wrong. As far as battles in this game go, that took a pretty long time. And we're very low on HP. Terry, eat your, po eat your soup. We don't need the jambalaya yet. Terry, eat your savory barbecue. It's good for you. Guzzle your elixir, kid. It'll, it's good for you. We're all missing. Oh, he's not missing. You see, a mage should just never use a physical attack. At what point is a physical attack going to actually be helpful? And I think there was a hidden room back there, and I want to go see if I'm right about that, or if I'm just totally wrong about that. Yeah, but it's a hidden room I've already been to. No! No! No Stolfos! No Stolfos! No Mas. No Mas. Hey, Professor, you're getting kind of immoral now. You kind of like, just do whatever it takes to get the Cosmonauts. Oh. 
I mean, it's understandable. They are pretty mean guys, those cosmonauts. Is it, is it as warm and comforting as um, uh, Nadia's negligee, you pervert? I don't know. Could be. Cut him! Cut the old sorcerer! We did, actually. Yeah. Harry, isn't this a door? I think it's a door. Why aren't you lockpicking the door? Okay, he doesn't want to go through that door. Take him out! Take him out, Terry! Terry, take him out! You did it, Terry. Good job. No, oh, I'm not worried about it. Not worry about it! Not worry! What's in here? More enemies that are gonna chase me? Yup. Of course. What else? Oh, it's a plus potion. We did not succeed in robbing him, huh? What a shame. What a bloody shame. Oh well, we got rid of the mage. That mage will be chasing us no longer. It's the monkey! The monkey is torn because it knows we're a friend, but it also knows we're an enemy. What about this one? You got pretty close on this one, Terry. Okay, try again. We're gonna get these open sooner or later. Especially since you're still leveling up, just trying to pick the locks. There you go. He just... it's just too high up. Okay. There we are. Terry, open the lock. There you go. What have we got? A diamond? Yeah, that one's for Francesca, then. Yeah, we're at a level 10... We're level 10 lock-picking or thieves or whatever. Well, that one's just beyond us. It's just completely... Not even worth looking at it so beyond us. What the heck? What's in here? Is this just a... There's nothing in here, really? Tricky, tricky. Wait a minute! There's like a... something... there's like an area down there! There is something in here! Terry, go to that area down there, Terry. I don't think Terry's going to. What a shame. No, Terry, forget it! What the heck?! Well, this castle's sure full of traps, I'll give him that! It has old, like, Mickey Mouse hands and... Oh, now it just turns into a normal chest, alright. It fought back, so it better... It did contain something good! Oh, there's that wall again down there. I guess it just... Is it a glitch? Is it a... I don't know what that is. I don't know. Well, we have a lot of money, alright. This place sure rewards us looting it. Huh? Monkey, what have you done? Monkey! Monkey, why did you do this? That monkey. I mean, it is still probably does have a bit of a moral conflict, but this is just... This is above and beyond anything that's acceptable. Okay, so, the cosmonauts employ skeletons, ogres, ghosts, and mages in their science fiction setting. I mean, I feel like it's just sort of violating some of the, uh, you know, what you're supposed to do in this kind of setting, but whatever. Oh. Just club it to death. Just beat it with a club. It's just gonna beat us until we die. 
But really, what's going to happen is we're going to beat it until it dies. That monkey. We saved its life, and this is how it repays us. Hmm. I just... I don't know what to believe in anymore. What's down here? Oh, it's the chest that fought us. It's the one that fought back. Yep, it's the one that fought back. Maybe I should have let it sit down because I could have gotten more money? I don't know. In any case, I have an infinite source of a lot of money there, I think. That's very good. Very good indeed. Let's go save. Nope. No, I'm not worried about that guy. Not worried about that guy at all. What is there to be worried about here? I don't, I don't see anything to be worried about. Do you? I, I don't. And so Terry took another bath in the enemy fortress. And then Terry slept in the enemy fortress. Didn't even lock the door or anything, just, just slept with door right open. But they're, they're respectful, they wouldn't attack a guy while they're asleep. Take good care of Terry. I do my best, I really do do my best, you know? Wish you luck up there, Terry. You're gonna need it. These cosmonauts are some tricky guys. They're even willing to force a monkey to betray you to an ogre. That's pretty ruthless. So Mint might be like the daughter of a crime boss, right? And that's why she's doing this, maybe? Or that's why Lester gave leadership of the cosmonauts to her? Or something? I don't really- I'm not really quite sure what's going on here. Steal! You failed, Terry, you're a failure. You're a failure, Terry. Terry, just attack it already! Not even that strong of an enemy, Terry. Just atta attack it. Terry! Okay, t ter Terry. Its attack lived on after it did. It's a metaphor, you know? Because so often in life, the harm we do lives on after us, but the good that we had dies with us. Wasn't there something like that in, um, uh, in Shakespeare's play Julius Caesar? I think there was. Julius Caesar is one of the handful of Shakespeare plays I have read, and I thought it was pretty good. What surprises in here? ANOTHER ONE?! Yeah, another one. They just keep a bunch of these around. Okay. Fine. They want to be that way? They want to be a bunch of jerks and just keep these things around? They can go ahead, they can... They can keep these around to their little heart's content. Well, what do I care? I think that, um, uh, items that give you power-ups give them to you as long as they're in Terry's stomach. So, when they, uh, have a longer digestion time, this actually can be beneficial. It's another one of the many interesting mechanics there are in this game that I haven't really seen elsewhere. Okay. Well, wasn't that something? Did we get any courage from that? We did, actually! Good! Good. At least some enemy here gave us courage. Maybe it wasn't necessarily that one. You pay attention to that. I wanna... I wanna, I wanna go for whatever enemies will give Terry courage so we can get together with Amanda. Anything down here? There's a little line there. No? Okay. What's up here? Is there another monster of the same kind? No? Just loot. If Terry can pick the lock, using his thievery master skills. He got pretty close, though. I think Terry has this. I think he can do this. Remember, even every failure is a learning experience. Every failure is a learning experience, Terry. See? See, Terry, you're already leveling up. This is much easier way of leveling up than fishing was. It's more interesting, too, because it's picking a lock instead of catching a fish. 
Although this does level up a heck of a lot more quickly than fishing did. It's really kind of ridiculous how much more quickly this lockpicking skill levels up com in comparison with the fishing skill. It's obscene. Don't worry, we've gotten very close. I think we're gonna get it. We're gonna, we're gonna get it. Don't worry, Terry will go at it from an angle. Don't go for the lock. Don't go for the keyhole. Go for, like, the side of the chest, Terry. It's a new bold technique. The thieves, the lockpicking people, have been contemplating for ages. And, and it's very difficult, but once you get the hang of it, I think it'll be much better than picking it using the lockpick. I, by, by which I mean picking the hinges. Just tear the hinges off, Terry. Terry, just use your brute strength. Now, I mean, you know how much brute strength those little noodle, noodle, wet noodle arms you have there, but... Come on, Terry. Just t Terry, just pick the lock. I believe in you, Terry. I believe you can pick this lock. I really do. Well, I thought I did anyway. I thought I did anyway. We'll get it. Well, I'll, I'll, don't worry. I'll get it. Don't worry. I really will. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see that Terry will get this. Will get this pick. He'll pick it. You'll see. He'll pick this lock. He already picked this lock. He picked this as being the best lock. Now here he's trying to pick it by going in the air next to the chest. Easier to pick than the lock itself, since the lock is a solid. And here he's going to continue this unique strategy. He got very close that time, even though he wasn't actually touching the lock. No, come, Terry. Come on, Terry. Must be a thief. So I guess even a thief needs to learn, doesn't he? Very close that time. Okay, this is just getting kind of silly now. You know what? We'll get it later. Don't worry. No, I'll get it later. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. Oh, don't, don't worry about it. We'll get it later. if the mages give us more courage by attacking a mage. Don't miss, Terry. I need to know if these guys give us courage. When they die, they just go out in a puff of sparks, and I don't think we get courage from that enemy. What? What even is this? Is it a mage? It's a mage. Alright, you gotta, you gotta take your elixir, or the poison kicks in. Gotta take your potion. Gotta, um... Eat a salad. Actually, what do the salads do? They give us a, they give us some boosts on a few stats, that's good. I already took an elixir! Alright, fine. Take another one. Why isn't, why didn't the elixir cure it? Whatever. Mages are dead as a doornail, and doesn't give us more courage. It does let us get to this. What do we got here? A pickaxe. That sounds like a just a brutal weapon. I'll take it. One pickaxe to the head, you're through. I don't. I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty. Com oh, they do keep the local wildlife as a security measure here, don't they? Yep, they do. The big, the crazy thing about these dodos is that they knock Terry back as much as they do. Like, it's not just that they're pretty tough, it's that they can knock him- Oh! No, they're not pretty tough when you're taking a pickaxe to their brains, are they? Not very tough at all then, huh? Does it increase any status? Does it increase our fame or something? I feel like you could become famous for killing dodos. Just like the human race did. Everybody knows this now that we wipe species out. We've been doing that for a long time, though. Wiping species out is nothing new. Snatch! We did not succeed. Okay. That's worth a try. We got chicken. What about this one? Just herbs, that's all? Really? Alright. Anything in this room besides just mages? It doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Unless there's something on the shelf. There's not! Get out of there before they spot you! Yep, those old men, they don't have very good vision at their age anymore. Why, you shouldn't hire them as guards, even though they do have powerful magic they've learned over the years.
Ooh. How am I supposed to deal with two of them at once? Tell you how, it's pretty hard, that's how. That's not really answer my question at all. That didn't make any sense. See, Terry just keeps getting hit, and so he can't attack them. And how are you supposed to even, like, you know, re re deal with that? How are you supposed to... I mean... I don't know... I mean, the game's combat system... I'm happy that it isn't just a turn-based combat system. I'm not a big fan of those. But... I don't even know... I don't even think I get this combat system. It's, like, just about the same, except kind of less clear. Although I will say, it's pretty darn unique. I, I mean, maybe this is a common style of combat system, but I've never encountered it before. And it's pretty interesting, and this is just one of the many... St the way that certain enemies will l give you more fame for some unclear reason, and all those other things... You know, it's just kind of interesting. And it is exactly the kind of game that I would expect to do that sort of thing, so... What's back over... what's over there? Did I look over there already? I guess I must have. I feel like I wouldn't have left that area unexplored, so... I must have looked over there, sure. Hmm. Any baths in here? No. No, no baths in here. This is kind of ominous. Hmm. Yeah, let's save. Sure. I hope that the final boss isn't beyond that door already. Out like a light. We'll let him sleep. Even though he's in the middle of the enemy fortress, isn't that just kind of dangerous, Professor? Oh well, whatever. It's fine if it's kind of dangerous. I, I, you know, everything he's doing is kind of dangerous, at least. At least. I mean, of course, it's actually much more dangerous, really, but... strikes me as a very dangerous, you know, path we're gonna take here, but, uh, alright. There you are. You've caused a lot of problems, you know. It was so nice to play a concert again, too. You're too late to stop the cosmonauts, though. If you want your precious cells, just follow me. Don't trust her, Terry. Oh, one more thing. Why don't you tell me how you're going to handle... Hey, pay attention to me! Turn around! All these feelings I have for you. Behind you, Terry! I'm going to have to make you pay for that, Terry. Now! Oh no! Gotcha! That went perfectly. We even jammed that nosy professor's frequency. I guess this is goodbye, Terry. What on earth happened? Hmm. He's unconscious. 
Hmm. Hey, Rigijiba, can you wake him up for me? <laughs> Harry, you're in your underwear. Wake up, kid. Phew. No, I mean, this isn't good at all. Hmm. Is he going to be all right? Hmm. Hmm. It's him! Rise and shine, kid. Wish we didn't have to be so rough with you. I blame the professor, really. What a shame. I'm afraid we can't put up with this any longer. You had to go and throw away your happy ending. See ya, champ. What? Harry. Harry, get off of there. Harry. Oh god, Terry! Terry, get get off there, Terry! Terry! This is terrible! We have no time to lose! Ah! I just don't Professor Terry's actually losing his HP here! Mochi! You can do it! Harry? What? Wait, what's going on? Dude, it's like that scene in Mother 3 where uh, Boney is running through the forest to, uh, to get Duster, if I remember correctly. Mochi! Come on, Mochi! Please! Hurry up, Mochi! Hurry up! That's right! Go this way, Mochi! You're doing good! You're doing good! I know I've talked about how you haven't been very helpful so far, but... If you save us here, I'll realize that I was wrong all along. Come on, Mochi! This is... They're really gonna push this to the last minute, aren't they? Mochi! I'm tapping the door as much as I can, Mochi! 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 You're... Don't hurt yourself, Mochi! Although I suppose desperate times call for desperate measures, don't they? Come on, Mochi! I believe in you, Mochi! Mochi! No, Mochi! Mochi! What? Yes! Great job, Mochi! Mm. Hurry back home now! And our HP is completely restored for some reason. Wow! You know? Mochi... Mochi was a completely tough, cool cat all along. I was just blind to it.
Mochi, today you did all the good. You deserve all the luxuries you can get tonight, Mochi. Play your compl play on your computer, Mochi. Mo no, Mochi, don't. Sorry, Mochi, I didn't mean to upset you, Mochi. Look, Mochi. All right, Mochi. By all means, Mochi, please. All right, Mochi, please. I hope I make up for upsetting you there, Mochi. Oh man, Mochi. That's right, Mochi. Please, Mochi, be happy. You've done good today. That's all I can say, Mochi. I can say that for sure. You're... You're the best cat in the world, Mochi. Really, you are. I mean, you, you look kind of weird for a cat, but you're still the best cat in the world, Mochi.